Good afternoon to you. Hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Maine. I glegri anach and you. I guess karanfur. Karanfur and you. Bit chilly today, but sunny and lovely nonetheless. I hope it's nice wherever you are too. Okay, so this video is a fan request. Some of my viewers were wanting a bit more when talking about specific times of day. So they asked for specific phrases. I've got a list of them here. I'm going to share more about specific times of day with you so that you can communicate in more detail mm -hmm. and bring your Gaelic up to the next, the next step here, the next level. Okay. Gleva. So thank you for your suggestions. And I hope this video covers what you're looking for. Okay. So <clears throat> we have our Matin, Fisker, and Eicha here. Mm -hmm. And first things first, Let's get some, some good, solid foundational phrases here, right? Some, some um, I wouldn't say basics, but, you know, very high frequency ones. So, for example, with matin, we want to say in the morning, right? Ounce. Ounce. Vatin. Ounce vatin. Mm-hmm. Ounce vatin in the morning. Now saying the in Gaelic can seem a bit tricky and confusing and just all over the place. So this is good practice for that as well. The morning. Avatin. Auntsavatin. In the morning. In the afternoon. <clears throat> or also in the evening as well. Auntsan. Esker. Oh, Dili. There we go. Ounsenjeskir. Ounsenjeskir. Mm-hmm. Now, we don't really pronounce this F-H here at all. So really, this sound from the N gets carried on through. That's what happens with this F-H. F-H is pretty silent. Mm-hmm. In fact, it's more than pretty silent. It is silent. <laughs> All right, ounce of vatin, in the morning, ounce in yisker, in the afternoon, ounce in yisker. What about at night or in the night? We got some options here. Let's go with in the night. Ounce in eicha. Great, no big change there. Ounce in eicha, ounce in eicha. Just like that. So not only are we working with some phrases about specific times of day, you know, getting deeper, you're also getting some practice and some really high common way, um, forms of the that we'll use in everyday conversation. Yeah. So it's like a two for. <laughs> it's a bonus. All right. Aunsavatin, aunsanyskir, aunsanaycha. Great. Let's not stop there though. <clears throat> so what do we have here? What was the what was the fan request? Well, if we want to talk about um, things happening the previous day, all we just need to do is add in one word. So, for example, Matin Anji. Matin Anji. And what does Anji mean? Well, maybe you've seen Anji before, it means yesterday. So, this is how to say, like, last morning. <laughs> Matin Anji. Yesterday morning, if that makes sense to you. Yesterday morning. Good, common way to say the morning previous. Mm -hmm. the, the previous morning. There we go. That's another another version. Matin and Jay. Ounce of Matin and Jay. The previous morning. All right. What about the previous afternoon or previous evening? Mm -hmm. Yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, for example. Well, we're just going to put Anje after Fesker. Same deal. Fesker. Fesker Anje. So not only are we talking about yesterday, we're specifying what part of yesterday. More detail. So Anje. Yesterday. <clears throat> um... Yesterday afternoon or evening. 
Clever. Mm-hmm. Eichenj doesn't really work. <laughs> I can't I can't say I've ever heard that before. <laughs> so again, we won't won't worry about that at the moment. Uh-huh. But however, we do have a word to refer to the previous night. It's its own word. We're not going to use NJ. We're going to use Rayer. Arur. Yeah, that means uh, last night. Last night, the previous night, however you want to say it. It's interesting, the more languages you pick up, the more options you have for translation in a way. <laughs> I've noticed that my English has, has become a bit richer for that. Mm -hmm. And my translations maybe are more literal in another language, so they might sound a bit weird. <laughs> Kuyu, anyway, Kuyu. Matinanji, yesterday morning, the previous morning, Feskaranji, previous afternoon or evening, Arer, Arer, last night, Arer, oh Vami ski Arer, Vami ski Feskaranji, Vami ski Matinanji. There we go. All right, what else do we have? What about like the next day? We're talking about tomorrow. So, what about tomorrow morning? How do we do that? Well, it's going to be pretty much following this pattern here. Matin. Matin amaroch. So tomorrow... Morning. Oh gosh. There we go. Tomorrow morning. Maten amaroch. Maten and ji. Maten amaroch. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon. What would it be? You guessed it. Gleva. Fisker amaroch. Mm hmm. Fisker amaroch. Mm hmm. Tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening. I'll put afternoon just on its own, but it also means evening here. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. Mm-hmm. Eiche amarach. Ah, that doesn't really flow off my tongue. I didn't really learn. I can't say I learned that so much. Um, However, that does bring us to a good point where we could talk about the next in general. So we're not necessarily saying uh, tomorrow anymore, but we're still going to say the next. Let's divide it up here so we have some room. Okay. <clears throat> so, what about the next morning? The next morning. It's not happening tomorrow. Maybe we're talking about the past. And, so, and then the next morning, I woke up and I was late for work. What have you. The next. How do we do that? Well, <clears throat> we're going to use the little word called ah. Ah. Which is next. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, we're going to put a little an before it, which means the, the next. The next. So, the next morning... Ana vatin. So a uh, adds that H at Lanites if possible. Mm hmm. Ana vatin, just like that. <clears throat> the next afternoon or the next evening, same deal. Ana. Ana isker. Ana isker. Na isker. Oh, vami ski na isker. I did so much work today. Vami ski na isker. And what about the next night? Now here we're lucky in that <laughs> there's no separate, you know, different word for it. It's going to follow the same pattern here. Ana. Ana aisha. Although usually. In everyday Gaelic, this last vowel gets dropped in this kind of phrase. So, ana eich. Doesn't that 
sound nice? Doesn't that feel nice? A nice, a nice, a nice, as opposed to saying a na, a na, a -ha. It would add a little bit more to it and make it a bit longer. But Gaelic likes being short and sweet most of the time. <laughs> and Gaelic really wants the words to flow. A na, a a na, So the next night, right? Next night, a na or a na -aicha. There's no, nothing wrong with putting that E on the end. It's just in everyday Gaelic and, you know, colloquial Gaelic, oftentimes it's dropped. A na good. The next afternoon. Saving space here by not writing evening, but remember it's evening. So a na good. Yeah. Okay, nice. So we got ounce of vatin. Matin and J, Matin and or more generally, Anavatin. Anavatin, the next morning. And you can use Ana with anything. Any sort of noun. It's just going to lenite the next word if possible. The next. Okay. What do we have here? Oh! Oh! So tying this back to using the days of the week that started this this three, three lesson series here. <clears throat> what about the next Monday? Or next Monday? Ana Yeluin. Yeah. Jeluin, right? Jeluin. Ana Yeluin. Because remember, A does this. A adds the H if possible. Just like this. Yeah. Ana Yaluin, the next Monday, the next next Tuesday. Ana Yamarsh. Ana Yakiatin, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, so you can plug in your days of the week into this too. Following Ana, just add your H, right? Just Lenite. Okay, excellent. We're reaching the end of our list here. Two more phrases that were asked, asked for here. So talking about the middle of the day, like noon, or midnight. It's actually pretty straightforward in Gaelic. <clears throat> it's, a, it's quite descriptive. So we'll put these right here. Mian, mian la, and then mian, mian aicha. Mian la, mian aicha. Maybe you've seen this word mian before. It means middle. So the middle of the night is midnight. 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 Mianaicha. Very straightforward, very clear. You know, very descriptive. There's no confusing <laughs> anything. It's just going to be the middle of the night. Mianaicha. Mianaicha. Mm -hmm. And then mian la, the middle of the day. That's noon, right? That's midday. It says noon. Or midday, if that is more natural to you. Yeah. So these phrases, oh, these will these will boost your vocabulary as well. Excellent. So we have a lot more here, a lot more ways to use matin, fisket, and eicha. And then we got some extras here that kind of um, fill the gaps in between them here. Yeah, Kleva, Mian La, Mian Aicha. And then one last quick note before we go here. You know, what little word are you going to say? Like in midnight, right? With midnight, on midnight. Well, you're going to say at midnight. That's that's the most common way I've heard. So you're going to say ik, ik, which means at ik, ik Mian La. At noon, making plans to get together with someone, ik me and la. At noon. At midnight, maybe the dog woke you up at midnight, needing to go out. <laughs> ik me and aicha. There we have it. So, this will flesh out your vocabulary a lot more, allow you to speak with more complexity, more detail, and um, with more precision as well. Mm -hmm, more precision. Okay. Hope this was useful to you folks. If you ever have a recommendation for a video, just drop me, 
Drop me a message in the comments. I read all the comments for these YouTube videos. Yeah, just drop me a drop me a comment. I'll see what I can do. I can't promise anything, but I'll try my I'll try my best. All right, Gleva, lovely to see you today. Enjoy your weekend, and I hope I hope fall is a nice season for you. All right, Gleva.